Hello everyone and welcome to round 12 of the ARL F1 2012 Season 6 Championship. It's the Singapore Grand Prix today, we're going around the Marina Bay Street Circuit. It's night time, I'm Matthew Gallagher and joining me once again in the commentary box, it's Scott Woodwiss. Thank you very much Maddie. Hi everybody, good to be back once again and this circuit here is a typical street circuit. The barriers are in close proximity, it's extremely bumpy here as well on some sections and there is no room for error literally, there are a few runoff areas but effectively with the barriers being so close these guys are going to have to have their concentration at 100% if not more. It's going to be a really interesting race to see how this plays out. Yeah, it promises to be a good and I'm sure the track itself is very demanding on the drivers. It's a very long race as well with 31 laps around a, quite a long lap. So it's going to be interesting to see how they cope with that and try to keep it out of the wall and not lose their front wings. The Season 5 podium showed that Noble2909 took the victory from his teammate this season, x Maddy G, with Randy Mitzgrandy third. Noble also took the pole position, so let's see how they get on this time, first with the qualifying report. This week we've got the two Toro Rosso teammates going head to head for pole position under the artificial lighting of the Singapore Grand Prix. As we head down into turn 1 now, Noble using the curb whilst Matty stays off it which compromises his run through turns 2 and 3, which allows Noble to get fractionally ahead already at this point of the lap. Now coming through the medium speed right hander onto the longest straight of the track where the drivers will be hitting in excess of 200 miles per hour with DRS activated and the use of curves as they flick it through this little right hand kink as they now cross the first sector split and it's Noble ahead by around a quarter of a second. Both drivers using a lot of the curbing on the left as they bring the car back over to the left to open up this tight right hand hairpin. Important not to clip the curb on the inside as that will upset the car on traction as they now use all the track on the entry to this left hander. To try and carry as much speed through there as possible as they now come down to the triple apex Singapore sling with curbs that will either let you ride them nicely or if you catch them at the wrong angle they'll have no hesitation in putting you in the wall but both drivers managing them nicely as I now cross the bridge and down into this first gear left hander. Important to try and pick up the best traction possible for this run down to the end of the second sector using the remainder of their curves as well as DRS to get there as quickly as possible. As I cross the sector split now it's Matty who has the better middle sector which now puts him just half a tenth ahead as they now try and navigate through the most treacherous sector the track has to offer. Lots of 90 degree corners coming up where the drivers have to use the curves the curbs to get a good lap time that comes with the risk of spinning and ruining the lap but Matty there just nudging the wall as they now come under the grandstand but just about even as they try and find as much time through what's left of the final sector but the deciding factor will be into this final double apex corner where it will be Noble making the error of turning in a fraction too soon clipping the curb which unsells the car which means it's x -Mate G going on to take another pole just half a tenth of his teammate Noble2909. Thank you very much Harry Jacks for that qualifying comparison. Now let's take a look at how they line up for this evening's Singapore Grand Prix. x Maddie G and Noble2909 make it an all Toro Rosso front row once again. But Matty's time was only half a tenth quicker than Noble's and Noble set his time on the prime tyre which surely makes him the favourite for victory tonight. It's a familiar faces on row two, Ricky C in the cage room and Big Shot play in the Williams, with the Salvers back on row three, TRI Limitless ahead of F1X Cricket 22. The top six are in a league of their own as back to seventh placed SE Racing team, he is 1.8 seconds off pole and 1.2 seconds behind Crookie, but still, that's his best qualifying result in only his second race in the league. He's joined on row four by Maisie CZ in the Force India, also on the prime tyres. Row five sees Trace B92, pretty disappointed to see him back on the fifth row with LC Speed Demon. And then Rhinel83 returns after a few races absence. He is 11th with ACR Jordan in the Ferrari alongside him in row 6. And then on row 7, all by himself, is Fizzy Fan 91 also on the prime tyres. So both Marouches starting on that prime tyre for this race. Three non starters today the Continents in the Ferrari, HyperX Callum in the Force India, and Random X Randy in the McLaren Mercedes. There's the grid. Now let's head to the Season 6 Singapore Grand Prix. It's the 12th race of the season. It's the Singapore Grand Prix. Again, we have no rain. It's just light cloud today. I'm x G and joining me is Rapid Scorpion for what is promising to be quite an action-packed race. It's going to be a tough one. The nature of the circuit is pretty treacherous. 31 laps away at the drivers. We're getting set for the lights. It's going to be a thriller night here under the lights at Singapore. 
What can Noble 2909 do on those prime tyres on the front row? x Manny G alongside him and the lights are out now. We're on board with Noble 299 on those prime tyres. Managing to get quite a decent start and holding second position. We've got F1X Crookie going up the inside of his teammate. Going onto the kerbs quite hard and Limitless has actually kept fifth place. So that is crucial for the inter-team battle there. It looks like everyone seems to have been maintained position as Limitless is having a look at Big Shot. With Tracy 92 following LC Speed Demon into this very tricky right-hander onto the straight. Yep, heading on to Raffles Boulevard for the first time. It looks like everyone has maintained position off the grid, but the two Toro Rossos trying to streak away already as they head down towards Turn 7 as they'll turn onto Nickel Highway and then towards Turn 8. So Noble then holding pretty well as Crookie has a slight slide there as he chases after his teammate Limitless, who is also giving pressure to uh, Ricky C as that's Tracy trying to go around the outside of Speed Demon, side to side go over two cars as they begin to go through Turn 9 off of Stamford Road and onto St Andrews Road. And this is a pretty tight start. These two are going to head down towards the Singapore Sling for the very first time. Trophy looks so he's got the line, and he has indeed up to ninth for the McLaren. Good move from Trace Me 92 into well, quite a tricky corner. If you bounce on those curves a little bit hard, you'll be finding yourself straight in the wall. As Fizzy Fan round the, or in, on the inside of Ryan and 83, his teammate. Good move there, and ahead of Ryan, who has missed a few races, so he might well be feeling a little bit rusty. As we've now got Crookie behind his teammate, just following in suit. Big shot, running a little bit wide. That's let Limitless through. Is he going to let Crookie as well? Is Crookie going to look up the inside? He is. Is he going to make the cut? Oh, he's cut the corner slightly, but big shot, looking around the inside now. Is Crookie going to have to give that position back, Scott? Because it's a little bit similar to Roman Grosjean, potentially. But no, he's hit the wall now. But he's still kept fifth place, but he's lost an end plate. And I fear that might be the trend for tonight. We might see several drivers into the wall on several occasions. That's not going to be the first time, one and only time we'll see that. Any of the first lap, the X-Battery has the lead by how much is one and a half seconds. As we see Tracy with a huge slide exit the final couple of corners. How on earth does that car not sideways or facing the wrong way? I have absolutely no idea. Lightning reactions from Tracy. Wonderful stuff. Seeing now from the start here, that was Noble. Managed to hold off Ricky C. He was looking to try to go around the outside, but the Toro Rossa driver had the line. This is Tracy United to looking at the back of SE Racing. Welcome to a ARL there, SE. Buff straight into the back of his Williams there. And... Uh, See Speed Demon trying to go back up the inside, but of course that was the outside line a few corners later. And this is Noble getting a bit crossed up as well as they entered into the under the uh, underpass underneath the grandstand. This is Big Shot and Crookie. There was actually contact between the two cars, which caused Crookie into the barrier. And here's the slow mo, and look at that full opposite lock. How on earth is Trace B still facing the right way? Impressive, Trace Me 92. I'm, I'm surprised he has not just lost a wheel or two. As Big Shot's made another mistake now, and he's lost another position to Macy CZ. He's down to seventh. Big Shot player now down to eighth. Losing a position to his teammate is that. So now Big, Big Shot has lost his form from the early part of the season. But he's now gone up the inside of his teammate now and taken him out. This is not good. The Williams team boss is going to be furious. Big Shot taking his teammate out. And it doesn't look like he's waiting either. So there may well be a few words after the race. And Big Shot may well find himself with a penalty of some kind. If um, his teammate decides to take it any further, as Noble2909 behind x Manny G, who seems to have made a bit of a gap on those option tyres, I can give you a bit of insight as x Manny G has decided to run the aggressive fuel strategy for this race. So he is trying to bit bridge a gap as soon as possible and get out of DRS, which he has done, because I think he knows that Noble has got the pace over him if they're on the same tyre and the same amount of fuel. Just go back to that incident between the two Williams. That is the cardinal sin of racing. You do not take out your teammates. So I'm not quite sure what was going through Big Shot's mind there when he made the move upside his kind of rookie teammate because it's only his second race and it's certainly a baptism of fire that he's got. He didn't finish in Belgium and he's having a really tough time of it here as Speed Demon makes a mistake on the exit of turn 17 into, underneath the grandstand of turns 18 and 19. And Ryan 83 behind Busy Fan here. That's the two Marushas running nose to tail, chasing off the second of the Caterhams. As a small slide, they're taking too much curb and Busy. And I wonder how much that's going to compromise them as they head through the final couple of corners to begin lap three. So looking at the lap times, Noble sets the fastest lap of the race on the prime time, which is incredible. Now here's the replay. Big Shot dives up the inside and just moves across on SE Racing. So some might argue that was a racing incident. But we look at it again. And that's quite tough to look at that one. But SE Racing, of course, is the one that comes off worse on that one. And he's really paid the price. As Crookie makes a mistake taking too much curb as well. So these guys really are paying the price for riding the curbs here in Singapore. Yeah, it looked like um, Big Shot ran his teammate out of a little bit of road there. I think that would, could be seen as dodgy if uh, the stewards were to have a look at it. As LC Speed Demon completely gets crossed up and goes straight on, knocking both of his front wheels 
and I don't think he got out of that lightly. He may well have to have turned the car 180 degrees, but we'll see where he <laughs> ends up. But he may well be last as Fizzy Fan up into ninth now on these op uh, sorry prime tyres. Uh, and Maisie also on the prime tyres up to sixth, um, sort of gaining from other people's mistakes. But Big Shot is now looking to take back that place that he gave back gave to Maisie a few laps ago. And uh, he'll get DRS in the next straight, so Maisie w may well be falling prey to Big Shot, who I'm actually quite disappointed to see Big Shot losing. He doesn't seem to have the pace that he used to have, because he was one of the, the front runners. He'd get consistent podiums. Unfortunately, he never got a, a, his maiden ARL victory, but he he was always seemingly lo like he was about to get it. But he's now sort of fighting in the mid-pack. Yeah, seemingly so. Decent move of the inside of Maisie. Is Maisie going to try and fight back? They go side to side through turn 7 onto Nickel Highway, this could give Trace United to you the chance to make a move around the outside, tries to get the switch back on the exit as they head down Stamford Road up towards turn 9, oh and Trace has glanced the wall on the entry there, so that has to be very careful, and again on the exit, so Trace using all the track and a little bit more, but um, yeah, back to what we're saying about Big Shot, is that I'm a little bit surprised by him, is that he seems to be a qualifying specialist, he's got the single lap pace, because he qualified on the second row alongside Ricky, but when it comes to race pace, he just seems to lack it a little bit, and if, if he... If he doesn't have a good first couple of laps, it seems to rattle him and that kind of it compromises his race pace for the remainder of the race distance. So I think that it's one of those occasions where Big Shot's kind of let his enthusiasm get the better of him and it's now kind of costing him and I think possibly going into the rest of the race here. I think he could possibly be in for quite a long evening here. Yeah, I think his consistency is, as you quite rightly point out, Scott, is the uh, sort of main flaw for him. Um, as we're now watching Trace, so I don't think I don't think Maisie ahead of him's got DRS, so Trace may well just fly straight past. He's going around to the outside. Maisie covering the inside line. Trace outbreaking him, but also outbreaking himself and losing an end plate again. We've seen another driver lose part of their wing. Although I think Crookie was a little bit close with uh, Big Shot. Was it? Was a bit? Yeah, it was Big Shot. So. Um, but another, another driver losing another part of his wing and <laughs> scraping the same part of the wall as he did on the last lap. Trace is very much flirting with the devil right now and uh, I not, wouldn't be too surprised if we see Trace losing a little bit more of his wing as Fizzy Fan loses his back end and has a little bit of a touch with the wall but fortunately for him he hasn't lost any end plates so far. I'll tell you what, that's a prime example that these cars are not easy to catch once they get into a side. Of course, the exception is Trace because he's got lightning, almost cat-like reflexes, as we saw on the end of the first lap. But you see these guys at the cars, when they get loose over the kerbs and they get sideways, it takes an absolute Herculean effort to get them facing the right way again. So for Fizzy Fan to be able to collect that without too much damage is absolutely key. Here comes Trace Me again though, back in the same situation to the outside down Raffles Boulevard, down towards turn 7. Is he going to make it stick this time? Breaks that a little bit earlier and the move is done. So Maisie will try and get the switch back down into turn 8. But Trace has got the line on the exit again and heads down towards turn 9. And again, glancing the outside wall, he loves to do that to make sure he's got all the track used. But down towards the Singapore sling once again for the sixth time. Is Maisie going to make an attack here? tracy has gone too deep over the kerb and he's sideways hit the barrier. Is this contact between the two cars? Maisie carries on in seventh place. Tracy's lost the position again. There was two contacts with the wall. And we see the replay here sliding over the kerbs. And Maisie had nowhere to go. Yeah, I think, as I said earlier, he was flirting with, with the devil a little bit. And uh, fortunately for him, he didn't actually lose his front wing, which I'm very surprised about. And we saw his classic sort of turning the other way and trying to catch the car. But this time he wasn't so lucky and hit the wall and lost the position to Maisie. Um, but now we're with Fizzy Fan in 10th place, a single point spaying position at the moment. But he's on the prime tyre. As you had a look just there on the indicator, his rear wheels, despite being on the prime tyre, it's only lap six, are very orange indeed. They're not much more orange than Trace's options. So... Trace deciding to come into the pits very early indeed though, I mean he had a bit of damage on his front wing but I think that's going to make his strategy a little bit trickier towards the end of the race and he may well be finding sort of lap 26 onwards that his tyres will start to fall apart depending on which strategy he goes for because I think some of the drivers will be going for two option stints and one prime stint today so um, it could be interesting to see if Trace is forced into two prime stints. Yeah, that was the information that I was given, is that pretty much all these guys will go for a two-stopper tonight, and primarily, as you said, they will go for two stints on the prime tyre, as... Oh, sideways there from Matty G! And he's clipped the barrack, he's lost an end plate also, so even the race leader is not immune to mistakes. So heading into the hairpin, he's going to have to be very careful here, because Noble's still lurking, he's not too far away. We'll come to the end of Sector 2 in just a moment. And what is the gap between the two Toro Rosso drivers? It is 1.3 seconds. And we know Noble can lap at pretty much exactly the same pace as Matty. 
even though Noble's on the harder compound tyre. So Matty cannot afford any more mistakes tonight. It really has to be crucial as they head down towards again. He's clipped the wall once more. Down towards turn 17. He's clipped the other side. Ways in the barriers! x Matty G, the race lead. I don't believe it. Into the barriers. He's lost his front wing completely. And he's got a clap from Ricky C as well. What is going on with him? I don't know what's gone on there, but the race leader has gone straight into the wall, lost his front wing. He's going to have to come in now for a new set of option tyres and a new wing himself. So he oh, might go on the primes actually, so we'll see. But x Money G from the lead has lost it to Noble, who is on the prime tyre and is now looking particularly strong, considering he is ahead of every single person on the track on the slower tyre. So x Money G, which tyre is he going to go on? Looks like he's going to go on to the prime tyre. So he may well look to stretch these tyres out and then go for an option stint at the end. But this is crucial for his race. And x Money G is now going to be after watching out for Ricky C and Limitless, who were behind Noble. And Limitless has actually leapfrogged Matty in the pit stops as well. So that's another place lost for Matty then. So, but that's quite an uncharacteristic mistake we've seen from Matty. We don't usually see him make errors like this. It must be purely the purely the, the nature of the circuit where it's just the, the nature of the curves which just spit the car one way and then the other and then just the fact that you have to try and ride them to get a good lap time and the fact that of course it is a typical street circuit the walls are so close and they are especially unforgiving as we've seen even the race leaders are not immune to, the, to their charms as we see Matthew now trying to start his fight back he had DRS down Raffles Boulevard chasing after Limitless both these guys are on fresh tyres and it looks as though I can see Limitless is on the super soft tyre whereas Matthew as we've seen has gone to the prime soft tyre Limitless I think glanced the wall on the entry to turn 9 and they'll head to the scene of the accident once again. But take us through it, Matthew. What just, what on earth happened here? I think, I think it's when she's turned in just a bit like a very slight too much, maybe a few millimeters too hard into that corner, clips the wall, and then the cars are goner because he's completely lost the car and he goes straight into the wall and loses his front wing. He was going towards the end of his stint, his option stint, as you've seen. Limitless has pitted as well for some fresh tyres, so he may well have been pitting that lap anyway, but. That's cost him a good sort of seven, eight seconds, I'm sure, as her, obviously with a front wing change and also trying to get back to the pits with Ricky C being not particularly polite to him uh, going under the grandstand on that lap. But um, I'm sure that X-Money G wouldn't have been able to defend the position anyway. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure. We may well see other drivers do it as well. We'll, we'll have to sit and wait another 22 laps to find out. There's more pit stops coming through F1X Tricky 22 and I think also a big shot in as well as Limitless and Matty continue their battles over what is now 5th and 6th and also we saw ACR Jordan at the bottom of the screen there was a notification seeing that he was out of the race so that's Ferrari's involvement in this Grand Prix done and dusted off just 8 or so laps but on to Raffles Boulevard once again and Matty using all of his curse to keep within the striking distance of Limitless DRS as well as Tracy sets the fastest lap of the race Matty's just not close enough to make a dive can he force a mistake for Limitless? He can! He's pushing him wide will he go around the outside into turn 8 there's a chance he could do it here. Oh, beautiful stuff. x Matty G, that was wonderful to pass around the outside. Found the room. Limitless had to yield that one. So Matty continuing his fight back into fifth position. Next target is Fitty Fan. He's just exited the Singapore sling now, which Matty is now entering. And this time, no troubles whatsoever. Yeah, that was crucial for x Money G. I think that's probably a net second place. I'm not too sure where Ricky C is going to come out when he pits. It looks like he's stretching the option tyres a few more laps than the other drivers. But it's going to be interesting to see where x Money G um, can sort of get, you know, how far he's behind Noble when Noble pits for his new set of tyres. But obviously he's on the prime tyre as Ryan's made a mistake and Trace looking around the outside now. Oh no, there's been contact, but he's got the position. Ryan looks like he has not gotten off, got off at all well. As you can see on the minimap, the dot was still not moving after the incident. So Ryan, I'm not too sure if he outbroke himself or just didn't expect Trace to be there. But I think that would have been an absolute stonker of a move if Trace had been able to pull that one off. Well, Ryan hasn't raced for a few Grand Prix, so perhaps he's a bit uh, rusty as SE Racing Team exit stage right there down the runoff area at Turn 7. And now I'm back up with a fizzy fan up to third place. Nothing too bad, but just keeps it off the wall through turn seven, a little bit deep in the braking zone. As he now heads through with now x Manny G, who has caught back up to him now. So this again, of course, Busy Fan's been on those prime tires a lot longer, but he's gone straight over the exit, the Singapore sling, and just about gets it gathered up. And Limitless is there too as well. So not careful, this could possibly be quite a carambolage between these three. Yeah, through this is a hairpin. crucial moment. Sorry, Scott. This is a crucial moment for the race. The next Manny G and Limitless's race, if they want to be challenging Noble for the victory right now, because Fizzy is causing them to lose a huge amount of time on those 
on the, the sort of more worn prime tyres. And Fizzy, as shown in qualifying, did not have the speed either to really keep up with the front runners. So the nature of the track means that he, he can't he can't really you know just get the, the speed out of the car. As X Manager come up the inside now at the corner that he crashed last time, he crashes again into the wall, loses another end plate, and gives away that position to Limitless. So another mistake from X Manny G and this is an uncharacteristic evening for him. It certainly is and whilst that was going on we saw race leader Noble 2909 actually enter the pits for his first stop as his busy fan as well and it does appear in some cases that the Salva barbecue has returned but we'll more about that later as Noble 2909 exits pits and the also we've got Maisie heading on to the super soft tyre and he had to wait because there was a car coming in as well. That was actually busy fan for his pit stop. So Force India had to wait to allow Maisie to exit the pits because it just depends a safe, unsafe release. And see Fizzy's taken on a brand new front wing as well. But Noble's exited the pits now with a 3.3 second advantage over Limitless. Now on those option tires to Super Soft, you have to feel now he's got track position, he possibly could be streaking away with his victory. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of pace that Noble can produce on those fresh option tires. Obviously Limitless is on the uh, option tires as well, but he will have to go on to the primes for his final stint. Whereas x G was looking maybe in a little bit more better position because he'd managed to get ahead of Limitless on those prime tires. But as you can see from the replay, play here Scott he pretty much deja vu in terms of what happened he just turned in a, a little bit too much but obviously on a, a much tighter line than before just slid straight into the wall and unfortunately for Fizzy although he gets a bit of a hit from behind which gets him going again um, then it was he just got caught up in that really I mean Fizzy I think obviously understood that he was a lot slower and didn't try to defend but X-Manny G made a mistake and went straight into the wall in front of him well, it did look to me, I'm not sure, quite sure how you saw it, though, as Noble sets the fastest lap of the race number 142.3. It did look to me in some cases that maybe there was a small piece of a bit of lag bubble which possibly might help him across, because if you saw Matty came across busy there in for what, quite a rate, so, of course, no, of course, Matty had the inside line, he did turn it into too early as he'd done before, which caused his first mistake on his first trip into that wall, so we'll have to wait and see exactly how that's going to play out for the rest of the race, but now, Ricky C's going to try and dive up the inside, and he's forced... Matty to run out of road, that's a pretty risky pretty risky move there, but that's pretty much borderline what's acceptable, I think, for Ricky. Just about gave Matty enough room there, and it's now put Crookie right onto Matty's gearbox. So it seems to me as though Matty's having a lot of difficulties tonight, and mostly with Salvers. Yeah, I think that was marginal with that move uh, with Ricky C, because obviously x G was pushed out over the white line, which is seen as the end of the track. So um, it'll be interesting to see if the stewards have anything to say about that. But uh, x Manny G losing positions left, right and centre at the moment. Obviously on those slower prime tyres. It looks like Cricky is obviously on the options. And I'm not too sure about Ricky, but I'm pretty sure he has a fully intact wing, which x Manny G doesn't. So um, this is crucial because, I mean, he was x Manny G was making inroads into Noble's Championship up until this race with three victories in a row. Uh, but it looks like Noble is back on his A game as we now see, who is that? SE Racing Team in the wall. He is in the walls this, this evening as well, and he has not had... He's had his fair share of incidents today, what with the wall and also with other drivers. Yeah, including his teammate for one, which again, as we said, the Williams team will not be best pleased about. Pretty sure there's no, no going to be any champagne celebrations tonight. But look at that, that's quite crucial. If you just caught that on the right-hand side, as he gets a small slider through the far cup of the corners, as a Noble sets a 141.5, that just shows you just how strong he is around this Singapore street circuit, the marina, around the Marina Bay. But Crookie is all, we're on lap 15, we're halfway through the race. And Crookie is still ready at minus one fuel. So maybe he's gone with the aggressive fuel strategy, as has Matty. And it seems to be the trend is that these guys, they like to run their fuel pretty aggressive. And speaking of aggressive, here comes Crookie to the outside. And on straight line speed with DRS, Crookie looks as though he's got the move done. But is Matty going to force him to outbreak himself? No, he doesn't. So that was a pretty clean move there from a pretty straightforward as well from Crookie there. And Matty really couldn't do anything about that, unfortunately. No, DRS is quite powerful actually around here. You wouldn't think on a street circuit it would be particularly good on, uh, for the drivers following uh, the car ahead. But no, Crookie seems to, he just had the straight line speed advantage over x Manny G. who didn't seem to try to um, defend it as well as you know, he, he, may, he may have could have. But um, F1X Crookie ahead now and x Manny G down into fifth place. I'm not too sure if we have any other drivers to pit. I don't think we do. And Big Shot player, a slight margin behind x G, so he hasn't got anything to worry about just yet, unless he makes another mistake. But uh, F1X Crookie, TRL Olympus' teammate, 
in fact. Obviously, Limitless and X-Men OG are fighting quite hard for second place in the championship, so I'm sure Limitless will have a few words to say to Crookie at the end of the race in terms of thank you, and uh, well, that's if Crookie can stay ahead of X-Men OG towards the end, but it'll be interesting to see because obviously X-Men OG has another set of option uh, option tyres to go on to uh, at around maybe lap 22 or 3. Back through Singapore Sling once again, and Cookie's getting very ragged over the curbs, and again he's sideways, and Matty pounces on the opportunity, and that's into fourth place pretty easy. Although Matty almost outbreaks himself, and looks these guys will almost go side to side on the exit. Onto Esplanade, Esplanade Drive towards turn 14, a very heavy braking zone at the end of the second sector. And I think he's, yes, Cookie's forced Matty to outbreak himself, just keeps it off the wall, and Cookie straight back through into fourth position, so these guys are toing and throwing over fourth and fifth fourth. position and forcing each other into mistakes here which is I guess pretty uncharacteristic for Matty but of course Crookie's had one or two mistakes throughout the season as well so these guys I think this battle is probably going to go on for quite some time I would think yeah it seems like Ricky C has got quite ahead of this battle and um, he's going around the final corner now as Limitless looks like he's diving into the pits for his prime stint a 14 lap stint so it's going to be quite hard towards the end of the race but I'm sure Limitless knows what he's doing and uh, it'll be interesting to see towards the sort of penultimate lap if he can really... Because I know these drivers will struggle. As soon as the, the tyres hit the cliff, they, they will lose two, three seconds a lap. So if there's if there's any cars within five seconds of each other towards the end of the race, we could see quite a few overtakes. So um, Tracy 92 into the pits now, going on to the prime tyres for his final stint as well. So he feels like the, uh, the tyres are going to last. And Maisie overtaking... Who is that? Is that Limitless? It looks like it is. Uh, but Maisie's obviously got another stop to do. I'm not too sure which tyre he's going to be going on to but his tyres don't look in too bad a shape at the moment but it looks like Limitless may well try and get past Maisie straight away as he will have DRS as Trace coming out on the pits out of the pits for his uh, fresh on his fresh primes so on to Raffles Boulevard once again Limitless is close enough for DRS this time and even though Maisie's using curves it's not going to be enough because look at Limitless the rate he came past and then Maisie gets a face full of smoke so obviously Limitless has got the sausages out once again on the back of that Salva barbecue and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be sharing those out with the pit crew the next time he comes back past the pits, I would have thought. Although the smoke doesn't look too healthy as it usually does. It's usually like a plain white, whereas it's kind of like a grey. Maybe the barbecue needs replacing. I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, it might be just the lights. It might be just quite, it might be because it's dark, maybe. I don't know. As so Crookie just clips the inside wall. Again, playing it fine with these walls, these guys. They really aren't taking too many risks. And I think that might be Ricky seeing the pit. So third place just in front as well. Catering okay, boys are going to work, on, as do the sound mechanics. And... Front wing change as well, so looks up the part the, the boys back at the factories who make the make who make the moulds for these parts. Could be pretty busy for the next couple of races because they'll be spending quite a lot. And it was Ricky C because I just saw the case from mechanics going back in, heading back into the garage. So Ricky's back out in sixth, Ricky back in seventh, no change just there. And here comes Busy Fan, still in eighth position, not close enough to relieve anyone of a position just yet. As he gets into turn one, and Busy's. He could get. He looks like he's kind of lagging around the bottom end of the points. I mean, it's a bit disappointing from his qualifying performance, but I think he was hoping for a lot more. X Master G heads in at the end of lap 19, and this I'm pretty sure I think will be for another stint on the option tyres. In fact, so 11 laps on the options, straight to Lee Mix one. And this could be a pretty key, 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 crucial stint here for Matty to try and salvage any decent points from this evening. Yeah, I think with his mistake, obviously, earlier on in the race, well, his, uh, many mistakes, actually, it's forced him into quite a long option stint at the end. I think he feels like he needs this option stint because the primes and options, there's about a second difference, I think. So um, x G now has big shot right behind him after that wing change. So x G's had to have a wing change for all of his pit stops so far this evening. But it looks like Fizzy may well get past big shot. No, maybe... Fizzy looks like he's got he's got another pit stop, I think, because his tyres do not look in good shape and he's got 11 laps to go. But uh, Fizzy, if he can get DRS and Big Shot hasn't got DRS on X-Men EG, then Fizzy may well get past. And although it may not affect his race too much, it will affect Big Shots a lot, who Big Shot probably wouldn't have been thinking he'd be uh, fighting with X-Men EG for uh, a position. But what with all the mistakes that have happened this evening, it, that, this is what happens around Singapore, one of the most demanding circuits and the longest race on the calendar. Now got Trace B92 giving all sorts of headaches to SE Racing after he gave him a shove at the first corner. He's back for more, I think. Into turn eight, or turn nine, one of those ones. And up now, he's going to look up the inside, possibly down towards Singapore Sling. No, he thinks better of it, but he's going to force a mistake. Yes, he does. He's put SE Racing into the wall, first of all, by, by his own accord, and then with a tap just to finish him off. <laughs> so, uh, again, 
Baptism of Fire with said for SE Racing Team, but I'm not quite sure that Trace is going to be on his Christmas card list, I don't think. I think SC likes that wall quite a lot because we saw him earlier on in the race in that <laughs> same bit of the wall. So maybe there's a, an attractive lady standing in the stands or something. I'm not too sure. But um, oh gosh, Fissy fan losing the back end and losing his wing as well. I thought he was going to get away with that, but no. His whole wing's fallen off and this is his race ruined now. What with the incident with X-Money G earlier, that didn't help. But this, this is a race ruiner and he may well come with no, come away with from this race with no points. As you can see a replay now, a slow-mo. I thought he was just going to bounce off his left front tyre because we know on this game it's a little bit more forgiving than in real life. But no. And uh, we're now on board with the race leader who we haven't seen for a long time because we don't really need to see him because we know he's not going to crash pretty much. But um, he's, he looks like he's going pretty well, losing the back in a little bit, but it looks like he's got the car under control. And he's now coming into the pits, maybe for another set of option tyres, I'm pretty sure, Scott. Just back to that physics plan incident, I did see on the approach into Turn 5 that he did go quite wide on the entry, and possibly that's quite the, the dusty, kind of dirty part of the track. And it looks like he just dropped his wheels, his left, his left hand side wheels, onto that piece of the track, and that's just what might have unsettled the rear of the car and pressed him into the wall. So that's, but that is rather unfortunate because he, I think he was hoping for a few more points than he was running at that point. But um, I'll have to wait and see how that works out. Noble exiting the pits and he has kept his lead back to standard mix to another set of options to last him until the end of the race. So nine laps on those should be easy peasy. Back out he goes, no problems whatsoever. So Noble then is, looks like he's going to be storming towards the finish to take another race victory and to further extend his championship lead. Yeah, he's got an absolutely massive lead. He had 40 seconds coming into the pits, and I'm sure a pit stop only lasts around 15 without a wing change. So he's got easily 20 seconds on the next uh, the guy behind, who I think is TRL Limitless. And we've got Ricky C pushing on very hard. He wants another podium in F1, and he's driving like he, he wants it. And fair play to him. He hasn't crashed or made many mistakes at all. And uh, it's showing now as, as he's up to third place, and um, he's looking really strong indeed going past Maisie with ease. Yeah, pretty impressive pass there. We've seen that a couple of times already tonight. It's another front wing change this time for Busy Fan and also a set of option tyres to last him until the end of the race. But yeah, pretty impressive pass there from Ricky C. Again, around the outside and again, he had the confidence to, to break his lead as he did and to get that car stopped before the corner. So, good stuff from the Irishman. He always likes to run up the other front and uh, hopefully he gets up on the podium for today. I think the win's a bit far-fetched as long as the likes of Noble and Matty keep, domin keep dominating proceedings, but... I'm pretty sure that he is a future contender for a race victory should he find himself uh, coupled up with a decent driver. So uh, have to wait and see on that one. Matty's coming in. Ma Maisie, I should say, he's coming in from P5. He'll drop down the order a few more spots. A couple more guys coming past. And quick stop, three seconds. Good work from the Force India mechanics. And straight back into standard mix two. And I think he'll lose one more place. Yep, Trace B goes bar in the McLaren and back out in P8. So Maisie will get himself a couple of points for his troubles. The only force in the, in the race tonight is of course no pro I, I pro X Callum, so he is upholding honour for the boys based in Silverstone as Ryan's made a big mistake there and that has given his teammate a prime opportunity and Ryan I think is his, his, his first race back after a while. I think he's probably still feeling a bit rusty. Yeah, Ryan can probably be a little bit disappointed actually that he's not in the points because obviously he's usually a regular point scorer. But um, as you can see, if you don't play play this game for a while, then uh, you're going to become rusty and you're just going to lose the pace, especially in this F1 league. You're supposed to be the best drivers on the ARL. So as Noble, still pushing. I, I can't believe he is still pushing despite having an over 20 second lead and being on fresh options. I'm sure he just wants to rub it in and maybe get fastest lap as well. I'm sure he will do at some point as F1X Crookie is now coming under pressure from x G on those fresh option tyres. So... This is the pace that X-Men G wanted, although he may well struggle towards the end of the race. And as, as I said a little a while ago, Noble setting the fastest lap of a 40.7, I think that was. Um, but X-Men G looking like he's the faster driver at the moment on those fresher option tyres. Uh, and F1X Crookie, maybe he might well just fall prey in the DRS zone. Well, looking at the best lap times, with Noble's best lap time, number 40.7, that's a full second quick on X-Men G. So to further add to Matty's misery, his teammate on the same compound tyres is lapping a second quicker, so if that's not demoralising, I'm not sure what is. But uh, on the pit straight he comes then, this is for P4, Cricket getting very defensive as, as he's entitled to do. And he'll hold the inside line, but will it compromise to run into turn one? No, it locks his outside front, but he just managed to get it stopped across the astral turf, and again a small lockup. So Matty is giving Cricket a big hurry up down towards through the kink of turn four, and as they turn back onto Raff towards Raffles Boulevard, once again another lockup. Cricket's feeling the pressure here. 
now with Kurz and DRS, a super the Lex Max Maddy G down through the king of turn six. Cookie will, is he going to get defensive to the inside? Oh, that's Ray Marshall. Small bit of contact down towards the inside, and massey has gone straight on again. Oh, unbelievable! This night goes from bad to worse. An absolute nightmare, literally, for X Maddy G. But if we get the replay in the second. I think Crookie played a part in that because you think he moved across. You can see the replay in the moment. A little too too late because that I think that really put off Matty there. We'll see a replay in a second, I'm sure. But um, what was your thoughts on that one, Matty? That was a, a bit marginal from Crookie. Yeah, I it was think. extremely marginal. I think Crookie. Well, we'll see a replay oh, now. Crookie turning left and then coming back towards the uh, racing line afterwards. So um, very marginal indeed, I think. And obviously on board him there. Moves to the left and then comes back over to the right, which obviously caught out X Money G, and then he missed his breaking point and uh, has just carried on and lost another position to Big Shot. So, as you say, this night gets from bad to worse. It's Noble almost losing his front wing that went down into neutral there, I just saw. So, I'm not too sure if Noble just fell asleep because this race is too easy for him or what, but he uh, almost uh, had a bit of a race ending incident there so I think he, that will have woken him up a little bit maybe given him a bit of a Lucas aid kick or something but um, Maisie CZ now trying to go past Trace but I can't believe Noble made that mistake but Noble still in the lead and still a hefty margin to TR Limitless in second well, maybe Noble hasn't properly adjusted to the kind of time time region that we have here in Singapore so possibly he's still feeling a bit of jet lag and almost fell asleep and that's what caused him just to flick it into neutral which caused him to miss break a part of his front wing but he's still got a huge lead so hopefully that'll be the last mistake he makes and uh, as he heads towards race victory as Tracy is still holding off Maisie I think he would have wanted a bit more I think he just glanced the wall there entering the underpass underneath the grandstand a fantastic unique pass the circuit that you don't get any other circuit where you actually pass underneath the grandstand. It's a fantastic spectacle to see here, as well as the fact it is a night race. And Trace be running a wider line, but it's probably the faster line through the final couple of the corners. Back with okay, X-Matty G, woe betide his race this evening. He's full of all sorts of problems, as he's now passing over P5 with Big Shot and taking too much curb again. So I think he's feeling the pressure here because he knows every mistake he makes, he's losing time and valuable championship points to teammate Noble. But of course, any points they score, is going to be crucial to secure the team's championship because I think they're getting pretty close now with a few rounds to go. Yeah, they are. I think the Constructors' Championship is pretty much wrapped up. What with their bo both of them having really good performances across the season. Obviously, Noble winning a lot of the races and then Maddie winning three in a row before this race. But, um, yeah, I think uh, no one's really got the Constructors' Championship in mind because uh, x Maddie G, I think now knowing that he's down in sick, that it's more about the second place because TRL Limitless is very close behind him because he's finished... Uh, three times in uh, second place when X-Maggie's won, so he hasn't been able to sort of bridge the gap too much as Maisie makes a mistake and Trace goes around the outside. Beautiful move there. Trace now up to seventh place where he actually started the race, so I think he'll be reasonably happy with that as he's made a few mistakes and lost parts of his end plates here, there and everywhere. So, um, And he's now actually only one place behind x Money G. So um, x Money G making even more mistakes now and losing time to Big Shot and he's probably going to be out of DRS as well. Who isn't going to be out of DRS is Maisie CZ, who's going to have it on Trace and maybe going to take back 7th place as he's got a full bar of curves to use. Trace looks like he's using it as well, going very defensive indeed on the inside. Maisie CZ round the outside now, breaking later. And is he going to make it? No, he runs wide and then tries to rejoin the track, but Trace is there. Is Maisie now going to go up the inside? I don't think so, because Trace will get on the power earlier and he's maintained 7th place for now. These guys have had a fantastic scrap for the past couple of laps. Trace beginning holding his racing line as he's entitled to do and just making it that little bit more difficult for Maisie and uh, of course Trace had some mistakes here earlier on he just outbreaked himself into the Singapore sling and clouded cloud the barrier but he's met his lesson this time as we come into the final couple of laps here and Maisie back, Maisie's just trying all sorts of fuel mixes to try and sort this out as Noble goes straight on well 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 championship, championship and race leader has made a mistake but I think that was a pretty impressive flick spin that he did there to make sure he got himself back around again here's the replay quick thinking to put it to neutral and then straight way back into first to uh, face the car the right way he needs to go to rejoin so there's the scene of the accident as we just seen and uh, he was particularly lucky actually there Scott I think characteristic yeah yeah that was uh, another mistake from Noble but as we said he has a huge lead so he doesn't really have much to worry about as long as he doesn't lose a wheel which he did in season, I'm not too sure, I think season three, the Monaco Grand Prix, where we had the uh, the win in the bag and then lost a wheel. 
um, a little bit to do with the game, but, you know, just a bit of a, a lapse of concentration, and maybe we're seeing that again, but fortunately for him, he's got four wheels and a front wing, which is all he needs right now, as we're now on board with his teammate, x G with DRS going around the outside of Big Shot, is he going to make it stick around the outside now, there's been contact, Big Shot, is he going to give the position back, it looks like, yeah, he looks like he's got out the throttle a little bit, so x G recovering one of those positions, and now up to fifth, can he catch Cricky by the end of the race, we'll see. Maisie back down the outside of Trace B92 and this time I think he's just got it done. Yes he has, so he, he's forced Trace B to give up that position. But again Trace B still doesn't want to give it up and just keeps it off the barriers. We see quite a lot of drivers do that, just glancing at the walls or just missing and avoiding contact with these walls. And look at that behind them, that's one of the Marouches also quite in close proximity. He's on either lap down though Scott, it's Ryan. Yeah, it's Ryan, so uh, enough, of, enough of that then. <laughs> anyway, as they're saying Top Gear, anyway. Uh, now heading on towards the final lap then, and again another mistake for Trace being again displaying his car control, impressive stuff there from the McLaren, and you think yeah he's letting Ryan, Ryan through to unlap himself which is pretty sporting, and another huge twitch as they come on to the final lap now, and looking at Busy Fan a little bit down the road, chasing after SE Racing Team after his dramas as well, but I think maybe, because there's probably hardly any drivers probably apart from Ricky C probably, who hasn't been involved in at least one incident tonight. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised that SE Racing Team is ahead of Fizzy. I know Fizzy lost his wing, but we've seen SE Racing Team more in that wall than any other part on the track. So um, I'm actually quite surprised that SE's still in the points. And uh, Ryan must have had an absolute shocker of a race because he's a lap down and he's been lapped by Trace as well. As Noble on the last lap loses the car, but who cares? He's 26 seconds ahead. How is he still that far ahead? I don't know, but he's going to come over the line. I can't help but laugh because, I mean, really, what was that? But uh, Noble takes the victory once again, and we're now on board with his teammate in fifth place. He's maintained the position ahead of Big Shot. It looks like he's trying to hound him, but it looks like Big Shot's actually made a mistake, and there's now three and a half seconds back, and it looks like he's closing in on Crookie because he was 2.9 seconds ahead. It doesn't look like 2.9 seconds now. Maybe Crookie's run out of fuel, or maybe his tyres have just gone, but it doesn't look like um, Matty's tyres are in any better shape. So it looks like Crookie's going to come home for a very solid fourth place as we're now on board with the Trace for his final lap. Just back to Noble, I'm pretty sure he'll say afterwards that he meant that spin, but I'm sure Trace, we didn't mean that. Over the curb, and it's been a pretty dismal race as Crookie sweeps around the final corner. Ricky C will get a podium just as he gets it over the line. How close was that? And looks like Crookie's pretty happy with that. Matty has to settle for fifth position. And in fact, it's sixth, in fact, I'm seeing on the screen. So that's quite intriguing how that's, how that's, how that's played out. But seventh place will go to Maisie. And eighth position, if we see him across the line in the moment, is Looks like he's probably going to go to Trace, but he's about far ahead. Then we'll see SE Racing coming home in ninth. Now here is Trace, me. Clouting the curves as he comes through. Another eventful night for him as well. But uh, fantastic stuff from these guys. And Fizzy Fan will come home to get the last tip points. Spluttering across the line, just getting it through. But there is the man. He's been off the podium, off the top spot a couple of times. But I guess for him, then we're back where he belongs. Yep. 54 minutes, what a race that is. That is a pretty big marathon. As Noble299 takes the victory, 22 and a half seconds ahead of TRL Limitless in second, with Rich C, a great result for him. Another podium, I'm sure he'll be ecstatic with that, especially around such a demanding circuit as Singapore. F1X Cricky coming home in fourth place, beating X Maddy G, who had a woeful evening today. Despite starting on pole position, the mistakes just took its toll. Big Shot player in sixth place, 47 seconds back, with Macy CZ in seventh, beating Trace Me 92, who finished 15 seconds back after that. So uh, I think he had a few mistakes towards the end. SE Racing Team, despite being in the wall for most of it, in ninth with Fizzy Fan with, with that uh, unfortunate error in the first sector, sliding into the wall, losing his front wing, has to settle for 10th. With LC Speed Demon missing out on the points, a lap down with Ryan L83, also a lap down in the Mauritius. And uh, ACR Jordan didn't finish the race, with obviously Contadin's Callum and Randy McScrandy not starting. But um, that was a pretty hefty and quite action-packed race, wasn't it, Scott? Eventful, I think, to say at least. And look at the championship. Noble has a pretty secure lead at the moment. He's got, if I went this out on the fly, 77 point advantage over next Matty G. So effectively, if he wanted to, if he really wanted to, he could not turn up for the next three races. Matty could win the next three races and uh, Noble will still lead it. So pretty demoralizing there for his teammate. But Limitless is only three points behind. And of course, the likes of Ricky C and, I, and the like are still close. Looking back down the bottom end, SC Racing Team with his first ever points in ARL, ARL F1 2012 League. 
already leapfrogged ACR Jordan because he's managed that in just one race with ACR Jordan has been over several races but it's been an incredible race weekend of course one of the most demanding races on the calendar with the likes of Monaco in there as well and in the Constructors Championship well as you said 204 points advantage now it's pretty much almost game set and match for Toro Rosso isn't it Matty? Yeah, it's pretty much all over us. It's been pretty clear for most of the season, to be honest. It's been a huge margin. And Sauber looks like they've got second place. May, may well be in the bag because obviously Limitless and Crookie both performing well in Singapore. Maybe they'll carry it over to the Japanese Grand Prix. Who knows? But we'll find out next week. It'll be round 13. Thank you very much, Scott, for joining me. Not a problem. Pleasure as always. Catch you guys in Suzuka. And I've been Matthew Gallagher. Thank you very much for watching this race. It's been great. And we'll see you next week for the Japanese Grand Prix. Bye-bye.